Hi, it's Ashley from Life by Ashley Pache, where I invite you to do life together with me, living intentionally by faith every day. Today we are finishing up our book club study of A Confident Heart by Renee Swope. If you have missed our discussion up to this point in time, I would really encourage you to go back through the blog. Um, there's a link in this post that says Our Book Club towards the top, and if you click on that, you'll be able to see all of the posts from this book club series that we've been going through over the last six or seven weeks. Um, I have been so encouraged by this book. Um, I've grown and I've been challenged and God has reminded me of so many things. I've really appreciated you guys reading through it with me, um, sharing your thoughts as well. If you haven't read it yet, I would encourage you to go read it and then come back and share your thoughts on the various days. We've gone chapter by chapter through the book. Today we are actually gonna finish up. We're gonna, chapter 11 is the last chapter um, that Renee writes and then chapter 12 is a summary excuse me, of all of the books or all of the verses that she has shared with us, God's promises that we can claim um, to help us to have a secure and confident heart. So we're going to focus on chapter 11 today and it's called The Woman I Want to Be. Renee says, as we end this part of our journey together, I want you to know that living in the power of God's promises isn't a one-time thing. I return to every truth I have shared with you again and again. As we grow in our confidence, as we grow a confident heart and we live in the security of God's promises, we will need to be reminded of God's promises. That's one thing that I've um, come away from this study with is that we can know God's promises, but we need to remind ourselves. We need to be constantly um, bringing those back to mind so that we can live confidently in those promises. So I shared a couple weeks ago that I'm going to be starting to memorize some of those verses that our uh, promises about who we are in Christ and I would love for you to join me. I'm going to be doing that on Mondays starting the first of the year. Um, each Monday I'll have a separate one. I'll have in a couple weeks I will actually put a list together for the um, I think there's 26 weeks so I'll share that with you on the blog but that's one way that I'm going to use to help to bring these promises back to mind in my own life and I would encourage you to find a way to do that as well um, because as we like I said, we need to be reminded of them over and over again. Um, there was a lot of good truths in this book, and I love how she summarized this, you know, just use this chapter as a summary of everything she's talked about, and just a last push of encouragement. One of the things that I, I appreciated about what Renee said in this chapter was on, two, on page 209, she says, We were created to reveal glory, just not our own. God created us in his image to reveal his glory by giving visibility to his invisible character within us. Christ in us is the hope of glory. And that was a good reminder to me that this life that we live is not about us. It's not about me promoting myself, but it's about me living Christ, about Christ in me and the, then people being able to see Christ in me. And so as we live in confidence and we live in the promises of God, we are actually not living in and of ourselves, but we're living his life through ours. And so that was just a good reminder to me that my confidence comes through Christ in me. He is my hope. He is my confidence. He is my strength. He is the source of my life. And when I tap into that source and I remind myself of that, then that is when I can live confidently because I'm living in the center of God's will for me. And so I always want to encourage you with that as well. Um, as you transition from reading this book to applying this book to live confidently in Christ because Christ is in you. There's so much good stuff in this chapter and she has shared some you know very practical things here. I would really encourage you dig in to this chapter into this book and in closing of our study I just want to pray for you the words that Renee prays for um, her readers in the book and I ask that you would agree with me in prayer as we as I share these words with you um, and lift, uh, lift you up to our Heavenly Father. I pray that the glorious Father, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, would give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know Christ better. Then you will have deeper insight, you will know the confidence that he calls you to have and the glorious wealth that God's people will inherit. You will also know the unlimited greatness of his power as it works with might and strength for us, the believers. In Jesus' name, I pray these things for you. Amen. And I do pray those things for you. I pray them for myself, and I pray them for each one who has the opportunity to read this book. And for those who don't, I pray that each of us would grow in our knowledge 
of Christ and grow in the grace of our Lord and Savior. I would love to hear from you if you've read this through us, even if you haven't been linking up, send me an email. Um, leave a comment on the blog. I would just love to know how this book has encouraged you, how it's grown you, how it's challenged you. And um, I know Renee would also love to hear from you. So check her site out. It's reneeswope.com. Um, and let her know that you appreciated this book and how God used it to speak into your life. I hope you guys will join us the next time we do a book club. Um, I'll be sure to announce it on the blog. So go ahead over to the blog if you're not already there and subscribe to the um, free emails that are available and those will keep you updated as far as what's going on in book clubs and other things. All right, I will talk to you all later.